Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In the last video, we talked about different types of telescope mounts. From all these mounts, equatorial mounts are the only one that considers the Earth's rotation. Because of this, it is very easy to track the celestial object without losing it out from the frame of your telescope. Initially, understanding the equatorial mounts is difficult because they're slightly difficult to understand. It also gets very confusing for people to understand the equatorial mount because of the way things are described. But we will try to simplify that in this video. So today we will learn how exactly these equatorial mounts work. You will also know how exactly it matches with the Earth's rotation and makes your job easier. Many of you might not understand it in the first attempt, so please re-watch the video if that's the case. The equatorial mount works on the principle of cancelling out the Earth's rotation. The equatorial mount has three axes. The first is the polar axis, the second is the right ascension axis, and the third is the declination axis. From these three, the polar axis is the first one you have to set up. The whole working of the equatorial mount is based on this polar axis. This axis is always parallel to the Earth's axis of rotation. Your telescope revolves around this axis, which helps you cancel out the Earth's rotation and keeps your object perfectly in the frame. Out of the other two axes, one is right ascension, RA, which is parallel to the polar axis and rotates around the polar axis. The second is the declination, DA axis, which is perpendicular to the polar axis. The right ascension axis, you can also call this a polar axis, as this axis is always parallel to the Earth's axis of rotation. When your telescope moves around this axis in a circle, it is called right ascension motion. You can also consider right ascension as equivalent to longitude. The declination axis is the perpendicular axis to the polar axis. You can consider this as equivalent to latitude. The combination of right ascension and declination helps you locate the object in the sky. For example, the right ascension tells you in which direction you should look at and the declination tells you how far up or down the object is from the equator. When you're at the pole, then you don't have to worry about the rotation of the Earth, as one axis of your telescope is already parallel to the Earth's axis of rotation. All you have to do here is point at an object and start tracking and it will be in the frame all the time. But if you are anywhere on Earth except poles, then you have to set up your telescope in such a way that the polar axis of your telescope is parallel to the Earth's rotation axis. If you are in the USA, then you have to adjust the polar axis accordingly. Let's say if you are in India, then you have to adjust the polar axis accordingly. Now let's see that with an example. As you can see, the polar axis is parallel to the Earth's axis. When we point at an object, the Earth's rotation is cancelled out and keeps our object in the frame till it disappears on the horizon. So, this is how the equatorial mounts actually works. And I hope this video helped you to understand equatorial mounts. There are some mounts mentioned in the description of this video. You should check them out. And thank you for watching.